morning. Our market master of the day is with us. Andrew Holland is chief executive officer at Avendus Alternate Strategies. He's uh, joining us to take some questions. Andrew, great to have you with us here. Thank you very much. I mean, it's a, just an incredibly strong momentum uh, market that we have uh, on our hands. What do you make of it? The recent last 5 6%, which has come quickly in about 10 days flat. Yeah, it has, and it's uh, it's uh, I think um, uh, caught us all uh, on some, you know kind of positively surprised, shall we say, because uh, obviously a lot of uh, global factors uh, have, uh, have not really worked in, uh, in in the market's favour, but it's just overcome them, and as you said, the momentum is very strong, and it's hard to fight it. Um, you know, I've been reflecting on 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 some of the reasons you know why we've uh, we've been seeing this, and. Uh, you know, one of the things that we talked about before, Prashant, was this kind of um, whole deflation trade going into next year as as the global economy slows, and and perhaps investors have uh, you know have taken that in in terms of that you know inflation is peaking at some point over the next quarter, um, and, and if that happens, I'm not saying that the Fed's going on on on, on pause or is going to do anything in, in the next uh, few meetings. Um, but obviously, the, the, the expectation is that uh, at some point uh, in the next quarter or so, they will. Um, and when you look for growth, India stands out. And I think that's played out a lot earlier than, than we were expecting. Um, I still think, though, Prashant, there's still a, a few hurdles to get through. You know, we do have the Fed meeting next week. We do see that uh, uh, the, the balance sheet is going to be reduced by another 40 odd billion dollars a month to 95. Um, and, and any unintended consequence of that, I still think uh, the, the market's kind of uh, a little bit, uh, you know, kind of complacent about. So, um, you know, September, October, or back end of September, October, are also kind of key months to, to watch. But of, of course, we've got uh, our festive season coming, so maybe that momentum for our market continues for the time being. Okay, the momentum is continuing in the Nifty Bank, by the way. It's a... Uh fresh all-time high that uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, hit on, on that index and, uh, you know, uh, uh, almost there. Uh, of course, uh, been a very strong market, very strong index. Uh, ICICI Bank has been leading it. Uh, Andrew, good morning. Uh, you know, this is uh, this move in the in the bank nifty and the kind of leadership it's provided, uh, especially names like ICICI Bank and State Bank of India. Uh, what, what's your view here? So, again, uh and as you said, we talked about if, you, if you're looking at that kind of um, peaking of inflation and, and uh, possibly kind of talk on deflation, then the, the trade there has always been autos and, and the banking sector in particular. Uh, and that's really what's been playing out. I mean, I think, um, you know, we've seen bond yields fall a little bit here as well on, on, on that basis that, you know, commodity prices have eased over, over the last uh, few months as well. Um, so that's, that's played out uh, quite well. And of course, for the auto sector, uh, lower commodity prices and the supply chain starting to ease as well um, gives the, the momentum for the, for the auto stocks. And, and, and so those have, have really played out quite well. Nifty Bank at a record high, eight-tenths of a percent right now as we speak. And uh, that's a 12-month chart where the Nifty Bank has given 14% returns. But just pull up a three- or four-month chart and you'll see the kind of ferocity with which the Nifty Bank has moved. Uh, in the last three months, now conquer that 41,700 mark. SBI has a big role to play. By the way, SBI yesterday hit a market cap of 5 lakh crores for the first time ever, and it's been hitting record highs as well. A lot of the heavy lifting, uh, Andrew, has been done by, you know, these banks, SBI, ICICI banks. So the leaders have really packed in a punch this time around. Just wanted your thoughts on how to approach it from here on. Of course, everyone knows it's a buy, but is, is this getting a to be a bit of a crowded trade right now? Or do you see this as a start of some sort of secular uptrend in uh, the banking space? So again, it goes back to your kind of, uh, you know, trying to look beyond the kind of um, the headwinds in terms of interest rates globally and when that will kind of uh, come to an end. So the market and, and the investors are saying that, you know, they can see through this. So, you know, the banking sector will be, uh, you know, one of the, the, the clear beneficiaries of our economic growth and, and it's time to be buying. So I think the momentum will keep it going. Uh, and we've said before that, you know, the leadership in the banks has changed uh, quite considerably over the past few years because of the different management changes that we've seen. So the pecking order is different than it has been in, in the past. And I think the themes that we talked about previously, which is obviously that deflation trade autos and banks, 
um, and, and the kind of reopening uh, of the economy. So the kind of hotels, leisure sector uh, have played out well. And I think the final theme is a CapEx theme, not just for India, but globally. Uh, whereas, um, you know, governments and companies will, will look to try and address that supply gap uh, or supply constraints that they've, they've faced over the past few years uh, a lot more aggressively. And if, if governments don't help, then companies will. And that's why we're seeing, you know, the, the, the foreign direct investment in, in, in semiconductor uh, industry in, in India. And I expect more and more of this to happen. So that's that, that I think, again, is a... Is a is a long, great long term story, but it's not going to be the usual, um, you know, roads, bridges, and 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 uh, no, no, normal government capex. It's going to be more specialised, and I think uh, that lends itself to, to different companies within that within the, um, you know, kind of uh, uh, capex, uh, you know, kind of um, industry. So you know, the, the, the likes of ABB, Siemens, uh, for example, are probably more geared to this kind of you know, smart factory, smart uh, office going forward. Um, than the traditional, um, you know, companies we look to uh, when, we, when we think about capex. Mm. But there are so many, right? I mean, uh, these are smaller names. Uh, you know, I'm looking at uh, look at something like uh, HBL Power, a small name, four uh, percent higher. It's coming up with volumes. We had the management of KEC International. They said that they've got the first uh, sort of order from railways for. Uh, anti-collision, I mean, uh, devices. Uh, so that came in yesterday. So this entire capex is, of course, I mean, uh, but but you've got to look then, uh, if unless and until, of course, you're looking at just uh, the bigger ones, which is, as you said, uh, Andrew, ABB, Siemens, uh, etc. Uh, just one more. Max Health uh, is coming up. It was not there in the morning when we started. It's up four uh, percent, coming up with decent volumes. Uh, Fortis was up some six percent yesterday. Max did not uh, participate, but it is today. And of course, I mean. IDFC, South Indian, and uh, Karur Vaisya, yeah, banks are top of the list. Ba Balaji Amins is another one, which is up 4%, 3,800 plus now on uh, Balaji Amins. Andrew, uh, any any other kind of uh, newer themes uh, or uh, where, you th where you still find uh, value at, uh, at, at uh, current levels? I mean, could be subsectors within uh, cap CapEx, building materials, uh, anything you like? Yeah, I mean, finding value is um, it's a little more difficult than it was a few months it's back. It's easier. Value sure, is harder. But sure. that's always the case, right? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think one of the themes I'm looking at a little bit closely yeah. um, is where, you know, China is being kind of, um, I'm not saying excluded, but uh, uh, maybe will not be a, a, as, a, as a bigger force within India. And I think electronics is something which um, could be a, you know, a new theme going forward as as you know, manufacturing here uh, locally starts to take over from, you know, having bought everything in from China. So I think that's a, it's a new area. Mobiles could be, mobile phone making could be, you know, something to think about, for example. Um, so I think this is a new trend, uh, which I think we'll, we'll hear more noise about uh, over the, you know, over the next, not, not next few months, but over the next, uh, um, you know, six months and more. So this is uh, a, a new sector, which I think could, uh, could benefit from, you know, the kind of exclusion of some of China's companies uh, from either importing or manufacturing in India. Mm. Okay, but uh, Andrew, the, the big debate is on the uh, IT stocks now. Uh, uh, you know, there was a bit of a rally in the hope that, uh, you know, maybe the stocks are bottomed out and there was some kind of hope for buyback as well from Infosys. But uh, as, you know, as a portfolio manager, how would you approach the large cap IT names now? Uh, Anuj, I think you remember we've always been more negative on uh, on the IT. Well, I actually, when we say more negative, we just know it's going to be a hostage to what happens to tech stocks in the US because the correlation at the moment is still very high. Um, so, if you you know believe that uh, you know interest rates are going to continue to rise in the US, it's going to have an impact on these companies, uh, the tech companies, and, and they kind of. Uh, you know, multiples they have, um, and and the sentiment will just keep keep uh, reflecting in uh, in our IT companies who have benefited from the upside as well. Don't forget. So I think um, it's not a space I need to be. If I'm going to hide, I'm going to hide in FMCG and uh, and um, and uh, FMCG and um, telecom. Actually, if I want to hide anywhere, um, I don't think IT is a place to hide at the moment. I don't think this is a market where you need to hide, right? I mean, anything and everything is rallying. So you can just go out there and be bold. 
I mean, at least that's the way it seems. But I wanted to take this theme forward because we're leading into the next discussion. This whole home improvement real estate theme, right? Not just consumer durables, not just real estate company, but paint, cements. Th this whole lot is coming back in a big way. And we're leading in into a discussion that we're going to have with a big uh, paint uh, player now in a bit. But wanted your thoughts. Any of these pockets that you like where investors should perhaps put in fresh money to work? Yeah, again, I mean, the whole, I mean, I mean, paints, if you take paints, for example, obviously you're going to benefit from lower commodity prices. So that's the first part to it. Um, but, you know, this, this, um, you know, we've been saying, uh, I don't know how long now, years now, that the affordable housing market has that, you know, has that kind of uh, gained momentum, um, the whole move upwards in, 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 in the chain. Uh, and then, you know, aspirational India will, will, will kick in. And, and that's what you're starting to see. Um, and you know, it's it's something I've witnessed, you know, in, in the in the Thatcher days in the UK of, of, of people wanting, um, you know, to, to make their, their houses or whatever they have uh, a lot uh, a lot better, and, and that aspirational aspect comes into it more and more. So this is a trend that's not going away. You're going to have times when it's overvalued, um, you know, which we've seen, and and, and some companies do better than others, but. Um, it's a theme that's that's just not going to go away for India. I mean, that, that that's for sure. And we know that, um, you know, given our population, uh, consumption is going to be the big driver for India going forward for many, many years. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to thank you on that note and take that discussion forward with the paint company in a bit. Andrew, as always, pleasure speaking with you.